when you're away from your schedule, you have a very nice schedule set up, you know. Morning you wake up, you do something, you have breakfast, go for go to work, work for two hours, come home, prepare lunch, some, you know, everything is going back to back. Kids are at school, husband's at work, whatever. You know, you've got something set up. And then life comes in the way and throws everything off. And then you have to reset, right? You have to put, put, press that reset button, get back to where you were, get back to where you're centered. And that gives you tremendous frustration. Because we have in our head ideas of how our day should be, our life should be, our relationships should be, our children should be, our friendship should be. Right? We have so many ideas in our head and when things don't match up and they don't a lot of the time then we get completely overwhelmed and completely overwrought by emotion saying why is this happening to me? Why is nothing working out in my life? How come I'm the one that has to live alone? How come People, you know, I appreciated my husband so much, but he passed away. And look at these people fighting like dogs. You know. What is, what is the sense in life? See, life is all about dealing with stuff. If you didn't have stuff to deal with, you'd be really, really bored. Guaranteed. You deal with stuff and then you move. <clears throat> then there's a period of, of being stable. Then something comes up, you deal with some small stuff. Then there's a period of being stable, then you deal with some more stuff. Nothing has been given to you that is not perfect for you. This is your time, this is your time, this whatever it is that you have at this moment. It is, there is a reason behind everything. And you have to be, behave and believe that it's all going to be perfect. Just like you envisioned. Just like you wanted. It's all going to happen. And with that sense of joy, as if it's already taken place in your life, you just walk through life. Guruji says, What are you worried? I watched a video last night. He's like, Why are you worried? You think you have problems? You think nobody else has problems? Just wake up and walk confidently. Wake up and walk confidently. You have to keep moving. Keep moving. You can't get stuck thinking, oh my God, this didn't work out. Most people, you know, they want this perfect relationship. Whatever it is with their spouse or their daughter or their, you know, friend or whatever. But even if it's a perfect relationship you'll only get 8 out of 10 you'll get 8 out of 10 at best at best but you know fools that we are we don't appreciate the 80 and we go after the 20 the 80% that's there we don't appreciate it and we go after the 20 and then we, re we don't realize that even in that 20 we got that 20 you only get 80% of that because you only get 8 out of 10, at best. Most people don't want, you know, a relationship. Oh, he's stable, he's reasonably good looking, he's got great qualifications, you know. All the 7, 8 things are met, but he's not a cool guy. And he doesn't, you know, not romantic. Right? So you go after the romance. But you've got the romance, but you don't have the state stability, you don't have the education, you, you don't have all the other things that are so good. See, the problem is, we don't realize we only need three things at any point of time. Faith, courage and gratitude. Faith that it's all working out. Courage to deal with whatever it is that comes in our way, those little hiccups that come. Those big hiccups or little hiccups, whatever. Something comes our way, nothing comes your way that you can't handle. The solution is already in sight. You go into a problem with the thought of the solution. 
You don't go attacking a problem completely disconsolate. Like somebody comes to you, uh, you know, at, uh, at work and says, you know, we have, we have this problem with the internet. Okay, what can you do? I don't know. I don't know. No, they're not going to be doing that. They're going to have the solution. We have to call this tech company. This guy is, really knows about this. He'll have the solution. We can get this done in 24. There is a solution in, in sight. There's a fire in your building and you're sitting and crying. Not looking at the solution. There is a solution. The fire can be quenched. There is always a solution. You have to always approach your problems with a solution in hand. But the idea that there is a solution and you have that solution and you can stop everything for a moment and think of the solution, it will come to you. You can't just let it all go and say, oh my God, I'm feeling so miserable that I've got this problem. It's, I'm good for nothing. The worst is happening to me. No, it's not. Don't be dramatic. Snap out of it. There's nothing that's happening in your life that's so bad. Nothing. You're just tuned in to what you're feeling. And therein lies the problem. The problem is really not with the problem, but the problem is with the emotion. That's because we invest so much emotion in our problems. Oh my God, my child has got this terrible illness. Now what's going to happen? It's never going to be okay. Everybody else is okay, but my child is so sick. My mother is so sick. My daughter is so sick. My husband is so sick. Someone has got a sickness. Someone has got a financial problem. Someone has got an economic problem. Someone is living in the wrong country. Who is without problems? The six indices of happiness if you've read my book and there are only six. There are only six indices of happiness. You either have a physical ailment, or you have a mental ailment, or you have relationships pro uh, problems, or you have a financial and economic situation, a political or an environmental. Only six. You can put your problems into any one of these baskets and everybody has the same. We're all dealing with it all the time. Life presents you with problems and the art of living is how you deal with it. Your perspective. You can either make it a tiny bump in your road or you can make it a wall between two countries. Either way, there are planes that can go over walls. There's always a solution. There's no problem. And how many problems do you remember from 1974? Tell me what your problems were. Anybody? No, we don't remember. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Do you, do you even remember what happened? Yeah. So, things pass. Everything passes. You've got to be very present and not lose this moment. The only thing you have is the quality of this time that we have on this earth. Right now, this minute. You can't lose it all. You've got to get yourself back to the center very quickly. Pull yourself back. And that only happens the more you meditate. The more you meditate, the more you're aware, the more you can recognize the signs, the quicker you can get back to the center, the more you're gathered. You leave your practice for even a couple of days and you're all in your emotions. You're caught up in this world of feelings. I'm feeling happy. I'm feeling sad. I'm feeling depressed. I'm feeling anxious. Are you really? Go deep into that feeling. What are you feeling right now? Close your eyes for a second. Think of what you're feeling.
Vi har en YouTube. What is it that you're feeling? Is it anxiety? Or are you feeling nothing? Where is that feeling coming from? When you go into a feeling, when you go into a feeling, there's nothing. There's nothing. What are you feeling now? Rene, what are you feeling now? There's nothing. What do you feel, Karni? Tired. Tired? <laughs> That's, is that your mental state or your physical state? Mental. Okay. So you need to give your brain a rest. Right? So we shall begin our meditation.